welcome to another in the series of demonstrations designed to get you quickly up to speed with what's new in NX Cam. This demonstration will show you how you can now edit non-cutting moves for drilling operations from within optimization groups. This allows you to specify avoidance and transfer motions within the context of the entire optimized toolpath and is particularly useful to avoid collisions when drilling opposite sides of the workpiece when there is a 180 degree change in the tool axis orientation. While this enhancement was initially released in NX-1001, this demonstration describes the behavior when running NX-1003. In the Program Order view of the Operation Navigator, click the Optimization Group. The toolpath avoids the part and fixture when transferring to the opposite side. This non-cutting move has been specified inside the Optimization Group, so it applies to the entire toolpath. Double-click the Optimization Group. The Non-Cutting Moves button is new. Click Non-Cutting Moves. The Non-Cutting Moves specified in this dialog box apply to all operations in the Optimization Group. Click Cancel. Now, we'll optimize the drill program add an operation that drills the part from the bottom side, and observe how the non-cutting moves specified in the optimization group are applied to the entire toolpath. Right-click the drill program and select Object Optimize. Consolidate Tools does not yet support drilling operations. Minimize Tool Changes rearranges the order of the operations that use the same tool to prevent unnecessary tool changes. Create Optimization Group creates a new object in the Program Order view containing combined toolpaths to minimize transition motions and machining time. Click OK in the Optimize Toolpaths dialog box. The Optimization Group has been created but does not yet contain a toolpath. Operations using the same tool are contained inside the group. The Drilling Finish operation is not included because it uses a different tool. Right-click the Optimization Group and select Generate. Click OK. The toolpaths for the two drilling operations have been optimized and combined into a single toolpath. We'll now create an operation that drills holes on the bottom side of the part and add the operation to the Optimization Group. In the Geometry view of the Operation Navigator, Right-click the Feature Group and select Insert Operation. Select Hole Making from the Type List. Click Drilling. Specify the following objects. Click OK. Click Generate. The operation drills holes on the bottom of the part. Click OK to complete the operation. In the Program Order view of the Operation Navigator, drag and drop drilling onto the Optimization Group. While all three operations are contained inside the Optimization Group, only the toolpaths for the first two operations were optimized. The toolpath for the drilling operation was not optimized. An Optimization Group may contain both optimized and non-optimized toolpaths. Right-click the Optimization Group and click Generate. Click OK. Click Verify Toolpath. Click Play. The tool traverses to the opposite side of the part with no collisions. The Optimization Group determines the best possible clearance option for the group. Click OK to complete the toolpath visualization. This concludes the demonstration of how you can now edit non-cutting moves for drilling operations from within optimization groups. Thank you.